Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I'm going to show you how to make super easy applesauce. What I think is that a lot of people cook and they put so much into these recipes and so many different ingredients that it actually takes away from the very essence of what you're trying to do, create a great flavor. So I'm going to show you a basic staple recipe for applesauce. Once you cut up this one ingredient, which you can already guess what it is, all you have to do is cook it. And I'll show you the other two things I add and you pretty much just walk away. And you can do this in an Instant Pot. And if you don't wanna use your Instant Pot, you can use a Dutch oven because that is what I have done. I just got this new one because I killed my old one. Anyway, in here, all I've done is peel apples, okay? And I put cinnamon on the top, and I know I shouldn't use a knife in here, but I wanna show you, there's nothing else in here, nothing. What I will do is make sure that the bottom has water because that's what you're supposed to do with these pots or they will burn. So I'll literally just cover the bottom with just enough water to cover it, and that's it. Then I'm going to put this lid on here and cook it. I'll walk away. I'm gonna put it on medium heat between four to five on my stove, it's electric no higher and you wouldn't do that anyway with the dutch oven you keep it at a lower um, temperature so it doesn't scorch so that is what i'm going to prepare and it's absolutely delicious now if you need to have sugar and you crave it you can add that to your cinnamon but you don't have to so i just generally go across the top of my apples very generously as you can see and coat them with cinnamon that's it cinnamon water apples done and it doesn't matter what apples applesauce turns out delicious no matter what so these apples are just apples that weren't looking so great in my drawer and I really wouldn't want to eat but I don't like because they'd be squishy but I don't mind eating them when they're in applesauce because that's supposed to be squishy all right I hope you like this recipe um, I'll show you how it turns out and if you like it give me a thumbs up tell me if you're going to make it and what you're adding to it I love to hear all of this stuff see you guys when the applesauce is done Okay, now I'm going to show you how this turned out. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. I could have gone less. This is just going to break down just like this because I did not add too much water. This will go into here and I just am mashing it down. You can make it as chunky or um, not chunky as you prefer. You could let it cool and put it through a food processor or in the blender. It really is going to depend on the texture that you want. It is really, really tasty, and I have no way to share that part with you other than I can tell you you will want to slurp this up. Um, it's delicious, serve warm. Just remember, you can get burned from the um, juices of the fruit, so allow it to, to cool down, um, maybe just to room temperature, before you do start eating it or make sure you blow on it so you do not burn your tongue. Um, and then just mix it around once you get it all done like this. And you can see I didn't add much water because the water also comes from the apples breaking down. And it turns out just like jarred sauce, that or applesauce you would buy at the store, except yours is going to taste 300% better. And that is what it looks like when it's all done. And I really hope you enjoy my recipe, let me know and it doesn't take a long time at all.